the Cray Twins. <laughs> but none as funny as my next guests, a couple of new wave comedians. Will you welcome Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer? <laughs> Too, Vic and Bob. We love their programs, don't we, girls? Yes. But let's clear something up. Which one's Vic and which one's <laughs> Bob? It's a question we often get asked. Is it? Yes. So are you? We're not quite sure yet. <laughs> no, this is Vic. That's Vic and yeah. you're... And Bob. Lovely. Yeah. But how did a pair of scallywags like you two get into TV? Well, I suppose we're just little monkeys, eh? <laughs> We did a funny show, you know, and they asked us to put it on the television. And you said, all right. You yeah. said, all right, yeah, please. And have you... How much, then? It's <laughs> a lovely place you got here, isn't it? Oh, thank you very much. Do you like it? Yeah, are you here often? <laughs> you see, to students, that sort of thing would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of thing would be hilarious. That sort of thing, that sort of bunkum. But my son, Malcolm, you know, he's a big fan of yours. You and little mid-jaw for some mm. reason. But I told him you two were on tonight, you know, and he said, Mum, Mum, you must let me come and see them. Come and meet them. And then the last moment he was stayed... Was he drunk? No. <laughs> no. He stayed in listening to Vienna on his high five. Well, I think he made a wise what choice. What do you make of that, then? It's a beautiful tune. It is, isn't it? I've not been able to walk away from it. But tell me this now. Do you make each other laugh? Oh, very much so, yeah. Yes. Because you, were... <laughs> you were double act. But what would happen, you know, if one of you died? Dad, hold on. You know, I don't know, a freak salmonella incident or a yeah. wound gone septic. Or a freak salmon accident. Freak <laughs> salmon, even, or yeah. a wound gone. What, what would well, you, you do, Vic, without a little I was bobbing? bitten by a skunk the other well, way. Yeah. <laughs> it was, not so that's what I think could happen. happen. Show the scar. Show the scar. It's gone now. <laughs> Well, the skunk's gone, but the scar's still there. <laughs> but do you have quarrels and tips? Well, we have untoward thoughts. Do you? Thoughts like anyone else would. I often think about, about murdering Bob, but he doesn't know about... Well, he does now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know Alan Titchmarsh? Oh. From Pebble. <laughs> no, but it's not. It's like... It's what you're saying about nothing untoward. You wouldn't get it from Alan, would you? I mean, in his mind, there are dark, dark thoughts, yeah. aren't there? Well, but can I tell you something? I was told mother... to sit very close to Bob. Am I sitting too close? Because I feel, <laughs> no, I feel I am. Because no. I can hear his heartbeat. Well, I can hear it, you know. and then Did it you see Matthew like... Kelly? <laughs> Did you see Matthew Kelly? Yeah, we saw him earlier. Well, lo lovely chap. And would you go on Stars in the Eyes? Oh, I'd love to. Who would you do? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but... Do a funny little sketch for us now. Do a funny oh. little sketch. A funny little sketch for all the... A lot of them have come on a coach from Wigan. Yes. And they, they like anything daft. Do, do a funny little sketch for us. Vic. Yes. You know, I heard you've got a girlfriend, but she says you're inadequate. No, I had a girlfriend, but she was from Arrogate, you see. <laughs> that's a funny little... Well, that's more of a joke. Yeah. If it gets a claws in, it'll get him anywhere. <laughs> the audience, they're dying to ask you questions. Are they? Who's got a question for the hilarious bit of <laughs> art? Hey, he has. Roy. Have you ever been on the Titanic, you two? <laughs> <laughs> because you remind me of a couple of cabin boys heading for disaster. <laughs> What have you done? You've turned everyone against you. <laughs> At least one thing, they always put the jokes on ice anyway. He's <laughs> there. <laughs> could he write for you? Could Why? You, could you have him writing for you? <laughs> he's only got the two jokes. Well, that might <laughs> be. But he's got one bulbous head, of course, which <laughs> is always entertaining. I thought that was Mickey Rooney. <laughs> Any other questions for Vic and Bob? Oh, what about this lady here? Who does his hair? Oh, who does your hair? Who then? does my hair? I do it myself. <laughs> I know you do it. Right? You about hair. You've, you've combed it a bit too severely, <laughs> there, haven't you? 
Have you got a very hard brush? Because it's rubbed it off. I don't know if you've it. Do you know you're a huge success here tonight? Do you know who I see you as? Who? The new Mike and Bernie Winters. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I see you as more of him as more maybe Snorbits. <laughs> Gentlemen, they've made us all laugh. <laughs> Will you thank Vic and Bob? Thank you. Thank you.